Hello guys, welcome to the GCE Math Panel Online. In this particular paper, we are looking at Pure Math Mechanics, Paper 3, June 2020. I call on you to please subscribe to our channel and equally to share our videos and leave your comments. Because the more you leave your comments, we will know about the type of papers you would like us to work more with and we will equally know some of the difficulties in which you find yourself. So we'll begin by looking at the first question. Please don't forget to subscribe and watch this video to the end. So the first question reads, the position vector r of a particle of mass 2 kg at time t seconds is given by r equals 2 sine t i my, plus 1 minus 2 cos tj. A, find the velocity and acceleration of the particle at t equals pi on 6. So to find velocity and acceleration when you are given the displacement vector, we just have to differentiate the displacement vector to get the velocity and get the second derivative for the acceleration. So uh, velocity will be equal to dr dt with respect to time, which will give us 4 cos 2ti plus 2 sine 2tj. Now they want us to give velocity at time equals pi on 6. So we are going to uh, substitute t by pi on 6. And when we do that substitution, we are going to have our v to be equal to 2i plus root 3j meters per second. Of course, we know that if time is equal to pi on 6, 2 times pi on 6 is pi on 3, because pi on 3 is a half, a half times 4 is 2. So that's why we have two i's here. And cos sine sine rather sine pi on six times two give us sine pi on three, which is sine 60, and sine 60 is equal to root three on two. Root three on two times two gives us root three. That's why we have root three j meters per second. So this is velocity at time equals pi on six. Now for the acceleration, we differentiate this velocity and take uh, the limit as x tends to pi on six. So differentiating the velocity here, we are going to have minus 8 sine 2t plus 4 cos 2t. Now at t equals pi on 6, this will give us acceleration to be equal to minus 4 root 3i plus 2j meters per second. Now the b part of the equation says we should calculate the kinetic energy of the particle at time equals pi on 6. So we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared and so this will give us half times mass times the absolute value of velocity squared. So this will be equal to a half, the mass is 2 kg, times the velocity. We already have the velocity at time equals pi on 6, right? So we'll just use it. So times this, this will give us uh, 2 squared plus root 3 squared, the square root of all of that. And when we simplify all that, our kinetic energy will be 7 joules. So our total kinetic energy will be 7 joules. Now the C part of the equation, the force acting on the particle when t equals pi on 6. Guys, please don't forget to watch this video without subscribing. As you watch, please subscribe, share this video, and click on the bell. There is a bell on your phone called the notifications bell. When you click on that bell, when you upload a new video, you'll be immediately informed. And please, if you click on the link below this video, it will take you to the web page, our website, where we have all our videos. Most of our videos are not on YouTube. So I encourage you to go to that website where you will equally have past papers, you have past solutions, you will have notes and a lot more. From there, you can equally join us for a live online class, which is on WhatsApp, on Zoom, on Meet, and many other social uh, media platforms, Facebook, and so on. We equally have our application. And during the holidays, equally, we are going to be running concours classes online, which is free. And equally, we give you orientation on universities in the country and abroad. Now, the C part says the force acting on the particle when t equals pi on 6. So we already know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And we already have the acceleration above at time equals pi on 6. So we just substitute this value here and uh, simplify. They have not asked us for the magnitude of that force. So we just give the force in uh, its vector components. And that gives us minus 8 root 3 i's plus 4 j newton. The last part of this question wants us to find the values of t 
from zero to pi for which the velocity of the particle is perpendicular to the acceleration. So velocity is perpendicular to acceleration when their dot product equals zero. So we take the dot product of these two and this will give us four cos two t, uh, two sine two t dot minus eight sine two t, four cos two t. So when we simplify this, we will have minus 24 sine 2t cos 2t, which is equal to zero. And from here, we can factor out uh, the negative 12 so that we'll have two sine 2t cos 2t. And we can end up writing this as sine 4t, as you already know, okay? So this will give us um, sine 4t. And from here, if sine 40 is equal to zero, then it means uh, 40 can either be zero degree, that's the, or just zero, uh, it can be uh, pi or 180 degrees, and equally, equally between 160 degrees or two pi. So from here, uh, 40 will be equal to zero, or pi or two pi, and when we solve for t from here, we have zero, pi on four, or pi on two. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to watch questions two to it. I equally employ indulgence. Click on the link below. It will take you to our preparatory classes online, our Zoom link, our WhatsApp link, Facebook, and so on. You can equally join us on WhatsApp for not just mathematics, but other subjects. And don't forget, we will be having preparatory classes for concours in the country, as well as orientate you on universities in the country and abroad, as well as scholarships. Don't forget to share this video to leave your likes, your comments, and a lot more. Thank you so much for coming to be with us, and bye-bye.